Christine and Chris's beautiful farm. You'll see more of it later. And there's a kitten on my leg. Okay. I don't like cats. Oh my god. What the god. I opened the door and the cat got in here. Kitty. Get out. Get out of the room. There's a beacon sticker. Magnet. We picked up yesterday in Charleston. Okay. Bye. Can I throw him? I'll throw him. This is the trail I'm gonna run on. It's beautiful. There's just light coming in, everything's yellow and orange and green. Okay, well, here we go. Right around mile four, I'm about to reach the long point, and from the looks of it, it's gonna be amazing when I round this corner. stopped by the Secret Sandwich Society, which is owned by Lewis, who is the owner of The Grove, which is the venue I'm playing at next Thursday when I'm back in Fayetteville. Um, yeah, The Grove is right above the sandwich shop, so I'm really excited to see it and meet Lewis, who has been really awesome and enthusiastic about the project. I'm gonna go get a sandwich. This must be The Grove. My face is right here. You can kind of see it. This is the owner of the Grove. <laughs> Tell me about the space. It's a little, quite a lovely uh, live music art space. Yeah. It used to be a bike shop. A bike shop. The countertop is yeah. actually, the bar is actually the countertop when it was the bike shop. That hey. used to sit back here. It used to just be like the counter for the bike shop so cool like there used to be bikes hang just hanging off from in here so. and what was your main motive for doing this um the main motive it really was necessity just for the waiting area but then you know the music and the art just kind of fell into place and oh. you know, i've been, a, been going to shows since i was 15 so cool. having a live music space has been a lot of fun yeah <laughs> what are we doing what are we doing downstairs um okay we're going to we might want to play. No, that's not what we're doing. What are we doing? Tell me. We're going to do chickens. Yeah, chickens. Okay, show me the chickens. Are and they alive or are they dead? We, we plucked them. You plucked them. Yeah, you did. And okay. I put my nuts right here. Oh, you have snacks everywhere. That's why I like you. I like having snacks everywhere, too. Chicken. Chicken. And um, phosphorus. And so those three together will help our pasture increase in quality, which means there's more variety of life for them to eat. And then the grass is higher quality, so our grazing animals are higher quality. So it's just, it benefits everyone that they're pooping where they eat. Basically, but they we rotate everyone around so it has time to decompose um, by the next time they hit the ground the, the year after that. Hey, can so. you show me the thumb again? Yeah, chicken thumb. Ah! Is that chicken thumb. So weird. Give me your pet. Yeah. Outside, me catch it first. I got it. Oh. I can't. Inside Plucking a chicken does it feel the same way as mom. playing the piano? I you know, and flat, and I will, yeah. the moment the feather comes out, the chicken is like the moment I play the softest note, and then there's no more sound. 
Bye. Oh, Chris just had to go and buy like a plastic pipe and redirect the drain pipe off of mm. Because they got torn out when we had our septic system put in. We didn't replace the septic system. Because people, there's a concrete pad over there. Whoosh. Deep mountain farm. Boom, boom, boom. Buy their chickens. If you live close by. That's what we're about to do. We're about to make a garlic bed. We've been swinging this instrument all day long. Will show us one. We've been doing this. Ready? Oh shit. <laughs> I mean, in terms of the farmer's market, I think yeah. it needs to be a weekday. And I think it needs to be in the evening after work hours. Is that possible for you to coordinate it so it can happen that way? Um, At least once? So I think it, yeah, I think it needs to happen for like a full season. Because if you change things just once, we've learned that like right. the community needs time to adapt. And can you, well, can, do you have the ability to make it that change? Well, so the farmer's market is like a actual legal entity and that like there's a committee and you have to take a vote. Thank you.